Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Emily. Thank you for coming to the casual puzzler. We are going into my first video where I do a full puzzle on camera. And let me just tell you, it's tricky. I've already done it. I've already filmed that part of it. This is just the intro and outro that I'm filming right now. And it's a lot of work to film with overhead shots. I feel like part of the sorting wasn't quite in frame. Once I actually started the puzzle and I could like make the puzzle in frame like it's so much easier to do but I will say it's my first time so give me a little bit of leeway as I try to figure everything out but it was so much fun I loved doing this puzzle the brand was new to me this is from inner peace and I love a lot of what this company is doing they try to be low waste they use local artists they have very small collections so they've only been doing I think it's they're on their second or third collection and they usually only have like four to six puzzles in each round so I was able to get one of their older collections I think it was their first one from a brand called milk design milk company I'll leave them down below in case you want some of their older collections because I think they only sell what they're currently launching I might be wrong um, I think or maybe the ones that I wanted were sold out but I ended up going and finding it somewhere else Anyways, these are pricey puzzles. They're about $30 a piece, but they are doing some really great things. They're trying to be low waste. There's no plastic inside. They use like a zippered pouch that you can reuse for other things. I love the simplicity of the design of the box. It's just really pretty. Like you can use it for home decor. It's just like a little like prop up for like knickknacks. I also saw on one side of it, it gives you a little bit more of a blurb about the brand itself and for every puzzle sold, a dollar goes to youth mindful programs, and then they are also a part of 1% for the planet. All the paper that they use is from 100% recycled paper, so they have a lot of really great things going for it. They are pricey. They're a smaller company, so it's going to be a little bit more pricey to get one of these guys, but it was on my wish list for about a year. I finally bit the bullet, and I'm a little, a little sad about it because, spoiler alert, I is missing a piece, but I don't know if it's from their end or my end. I do have cats, but I did the puzzle all in one round besides a lunch break. So unless something happened to that lunch break, maybe a cat got a piece, but they're pretty good about it. Um, they sit on the table and such, but they never really steal pieces. So I don't know if it's from me or it's from them, but it's a pretty simple piece to duplicate. So I think I will be able to make something work, but... I'm just sharing that right now because it was such a bummer. We're going to go into me doing the inner piece puzzle and I'll show my thoughts right afterwards. distinct areas made it pretty easy of knowing what puzzle piece went with what and so for here we have like the woman because only red and only tan and only most black is in here so that was pretty easy we also have plants and planters this is the table we have just like green walls some white pieces this is a mixture so it's my edge pieces but I also put this wallpaper in here too because it's only on the same edge so I feel like it'd be easy to do all at once and then over here we just have the plate of eggs just because it was very distinct to see those so I am just going to start on the edge
took a little lunch break. So far, I've been working on the puzzle for about an hour and a half. I'm not someone who usually times my puzzles, so this is an interesting little experiment. I would say I'm over halfway done right now. I just had the plants in like the side area. I'll show you in just a second. While my lunch was cooking, I did a couple pieces in the table, the wood section. So far, I really like it. My one gripe so far though is that sometimes pieces seem like they're in the right place, but they're not. It's happened probably about a dozen times so far, so it's frequent enough that it's annoying. So that's something to mention, but I like how vibrant it is. I like the matte texture. So far, so good, and we will continue on. I'm guessing it'll probably be like another hour or so, so I'm thinking my total time would be like two and a half hours for 500 pieces. Is that average? I don't know. Um, again, I'm not usually someone who times my puzzles. I guess that's why I just do it casually. I've, I feel like my uh, channel name is coming into play here. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to continue on. Obviously my first thought is that I am missing a piece. I don't know again if it is from me or them. It just is what it is sometimes. Sometimes a piece is just missing and that is really unfortunate for such a pricey puzzle. But I know I can make my own piece. There's different ways that you can do it. Um, maybe I can reach out to the brand and see if I can get a duplicate piece. I know that's tricky because usually once it, the laser is done, like each one isn't exact. So it'll be really hard to get an extra piece. But who knows? Um, maybe they have some type of program to know which piece I'm missing. 
we'll see if I know of any information or if there's any update I'll leave it down in the description as it comes but as of right now it is missing that one singular middle of the puzzle white piece which is so sad Another thing I did notice from this brand is that you often will think a piece is in the right place, but it's not. I would say at least a dozen times, probably more, I had a piece put together fine and it looked like it was supposed to go in that space, but then I realized, oh, nope, this is, I have to rearrange some things. So it happened enough that it was frustrating, but not so much that it ruined the experience, but it is something to mention because if that is one of your biggest pet peeves, then you may want to try a different brand. In general though I really liked this puzzle at the feel of it. The t puzzle pieces were really nice and sturdy. I thought the thickness was really nice. It had that s nice snap when you got pieces together and I really enjoyed this puzzle. I wished I had the full 500 pieces but hopefully it will just show up and maybe I can reach out to the brand again and I'll give you more of an update when that happens. Would I recommend Inner Peace? Maybe. They are pretty pricey. They're only 500 pieces. I was able to do mine in about two and a half hours, so it wasn't a lot of puzzling time. But I do like that it, the box is really simple. It can be a piece of home decor. But I just think there's other puzzle brands out there that are also doing good things, but it's not as steep of a price tag, like $30 for a puzzle. That's a lot, including shipping, like it's $36 or whichever. So I'm not sure if I would repurchase an inner piece puzzle, but I do like that I was able to experience it and I will see in the future whether or not one of the future collections call out to me. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in today. What do you think of this puzzle brand? Are you into it? Are you wanting me to try another? Let me know down in the comments below. I know I do need to just figure out this the logistics of things. And the technology bit of things but that will come in time but thank you so much for tuning in i will see you guys in the next one if you want to see these puzzles in action again check out my instagram so you guys can follow me along there and that's all i have have a good one bye